Welcome. You're tuned into Tangled Threads. If you're digging our content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Hey y'all. So this all started about six months ago. My name is Mia, and I've been married to Nathan for a bit over a decade. We met in high school, the kind of love story you read about in fairy tales. Nathan was my rock, my constant in a world full of change. We had our daughter, Lily, who is now eight years old, and she's the light of our lives. Or at least, she was the center of our world until everything fell apart. Lily has always been pretty athletic, and she took to gymnastics. She liked it, and we liked watching her grow in the sport. That's how we met Mark, Lily's gymnastics coach. He was young, enthusiastic, and had a way of making every child feel like they were the most important person in the room. He was also incredibly handsome, but that was just a background detail until it wasn't. Nathan's job had him traveling more frequently, and I found myself feeling lonelier than I had ever felt in my entire life. I was at the gym one evening, waiting to pick up Lily, when Mark struck up a conversation with me. It was innocent at first, just two adults talking about mundane things. But as the weeks went by, our conversations grew deeper, more personal. I found myself looking forward to those brief encounters, and I think he did too. Then, one night, it happened. There was a team dinner, and Nathan was out of town. One thing led to another, and before I knew it, Mark and I were in his car, driven by a force I still don't fully understand. It was a moment of utter madness, a lapse in judgment that would cost me everything. The guilt was immediate and overwhelming. I knew I had to confess to Nathan. He deserved that much, at least. I told him everything, watching his face shift from confusion to understanding, then to a kind of hurt I had never seen before. It was like watching the man I loved crumble right before my eyes. Nathan's reaction was swift. He filed for divorce and didn't keep the reason a secret. Suddenly, everyone knew about my indiscretion, my family, our friends, the parents at the gymnastics club. The fallout was catastrophic. My family, who had always been my support system, couldn't look at me the same way. They were disappointed, angry, and hurt. But the person who suffered the most was Lily. She loved gymnastics, and she adored Mark. When Nathan told everyone, Mark was let go from the gym. Lily was heartbroken, not just because of what I had done to our family, but also because she lost a coach and a mentor. She couldn't understand why he had to leave, and we couldn't tell her the real reason. What hurt the most was seeing everyone's sympathy directed towards Lily and Nathan, with none spared for me. I know what I did was wrong, but the lack of compassion from those I loved was more than I could bear. I found myself growing resentful, angry that nobody could see my pain, my regret. In their eyes, I was the villain of this story, the woman who tore her family apart for a fleeting moment of selfishness. And maybe they're right, but I'm also a human being, capable of making terrible mistakes, and I wish they could see that. I wish they could understand that I am more than this one act, that I am still the woman who loves her family, even if I've broken it in the most unimaginable way. Now, I'm living in a small apartment, seeing Lily only on weekends. Nathan won't speak to me unless it's absolutely necessary. My parents are polite, but there's a coldness in their eyes that wasn't there before. My friends have all but vanished, siding with Nathan in the divorce. I just don't get it. I know I messed up, but we all make mistakes. And what gives my parents the right to take the high road? Everyone cheats and messes up at some point. Something tells me everyone else isn't so innocent. I'll keep my mouth shut, though. I wouldn't want to upset the morally superior. Update. It's been several months since my world turned upside down, and I feel like I'm living in a nightmare that I can't wake up from. The divorce with Nathan has been finalized, and the court's decision was like another blow to my already shattered life. I was granted no alimony, a decision that left me reeling. I understand that my actions were the cause of this mess, but the financial strain on top of everything else feels like too much to bear. I've been trying to pick up the pieces of my life, but it's been an uphill battle. I'm working a job that barely covers my rent and living expenses, and the weight of my mistakes haunts me every day. The loneliness is suffocating. I haven't spoken to my parents in months. They made it clear that they wanted nothing to do with me after what I did. It hurts more than I can express, knowing that I've lost the support and love of the people who raised me, who were once my biggest cheerleaders, 
As for my friends, they've all but disappeared. It's as if I've become a social pariah, someone they're afraid to be associated with. The isolation is crushing, and I find myself growing increasingly angry and bitter. I'm angry at the world, at Nathan, at my family and friends for abandoning me in my time of need. I know I'm responsible for what happened, but I can't help but wish that they could show me an ounce of the compassion and understanding I so desperately need right now. I see Nathan moving on with his life, and it fills me with a mixture of sadness and resentment. He's playing the role of the single, devoted father perfectly, and it seems like the community is rallying around him. Meanwhile, I'm struggling to keep my head above water, both emotionally and financially. My relationship with Lily is the only light in my life, but it's tinged with sadness. Our weekends together are bittersweet, a constant reminder of the family life I've lost. She's still hurting and confused about everything that's happened, and I can see the strain in her eyes. It breaks my heart, knowing that I'm the cause of her pain. In my darker moments, I find myself wishing the worst for those who have turned their backs on me. I know it's wrong, but the hurt and betrayal I feel are overwhelming. I feel like I've been cast aside, left to deal with the consequences of my actions alone, while everyone else gets to move on with their lives. I'm seeing a therapist regularly, trying to work through the anger and pain. It's a slow process, and some days it feels like I'm not making any progress at all. But I know I need to find a way to forgive myself and to let go of the bitterness and resentment that's eating away at me. I need to find a way to rebuild my life, not just for my sake, but for Lily's as well. I'm sharing this update not for sympathy, but in the hopes that someone out there understands that maybe there's someone who's been through something similar and has come out the other side. I'm holding on to the hope that one day I can look back on this chapter of my life and see it as a turning point, a painful but necessary step towards becoming a better, stronger person. Jesus, lady, this is so weird. I mean, come on, this is your daughter's teacher. What is becoming of the world these days? Cheating seems to be on the rise and, well, I mean, is it really that hard to stick it out with your person? Maybe we've been asking for too much all along. Who knows? Anyways, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threads.